so guys you can see i'm on rpcs3 right now i'm gonna show you in this video how you can fix lags in rpcs3 let's go to config and we are now under the cpu settings set the ppu decoder to recompiler llbm and also the same option for spu decoder and for the spu block size set it to save and set the preferred spu threads to 2 and under the additional settings tick this option enable spu loop detection and go to cpu now you can choose the renderer to Balkan or OpenGL. You can try one at a time and see which one works best for you. And for the graphics device, choose the graphics that's pre-installed on your PC. Now for the shader mode, choose the third option that is Async with Shader Interpreter. And set the number of shader compiler threads to 2. Now under the additional setting, tick this P-Sync. Now go to audio. Now there's only one setting for audio that is set the audio buffer duration to 150ms. Now there's no such base settings for I.O. that is input output and system and network. Now go to emulator, I'll come back to advanced later. Now under the emulator scroll down here and we're gonna set this maximum LLBM compile threads to 3. Now there's no such settings for GUI. Now go to advanced that I left earlier and scroll down under the advanced tab. And what you're gonna do here is we have this maximum number of esports threads set it to 3 originally and then you're gonna increase by one at a time until the game runs stable or lag free. So set it to 3 originally and these are the settings to fix lags we're just gonna apply this and save. So thanks for watching guys if you like this video then just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay bye.